Hi, this is John Kenlopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. I have a very, very interesting case to discuss with you today. This is a 52-year-old um, lady with debilitating EKC-related cornea scarring. You can see the very dense scarring here, almost yellow highland deposits within the cornea. The classic EKC spots, a uh, little bit better picture on the right eye. Uh, but severe visual debilitation. She was refracting with a plus three, minus one to the best corrected 2070 here with terrible, terrible night vision. And uh, we decided on this lady to undergo uh, a combination of a PTK, uh, treat myopia, although she was hyperopic, and then add that extra myopia into the hyperopic refraction correction, along with cross-linking as well in order to, re to smoothen the surface, do a PTK, therapeutic, treat the refractive error, and um, also refine the surface of the cornea. And uh, we are on month number six currently. This is her picture today. And yes, this is the same patient. It's a dramatic improvement of the scarring. She has uh, uh, healed and responded uh, very pleasantly to the uh, intervention. This is the epithelium of the same patient uh, halfway down the line. This was in uh, July. This is two months later showing how long it takes for these eyes that have undergone uh, PRK and CXL to re-epithelialize and remodel um, nicely and reach uh, the end result that we saw before. These are the uh, uh, Pentacam images before. We can see the irregular astigmatism here induced mainly by the severe scarring temporally in this left eye and how uh, we ended up doing a uh, fake myopic and that extra myopia added to her hyperopic correction and create a hyperopic post PRK cornea that's obviously steeper in the center and flatter in the periphery and the difference here definitely reveals a hyperopic uh, laser vision correction on the cornea but it also reveals how we treated the irregularity in the cornea and this was performed by our signature um, topography guided uh, for the hyperopic correction so uh, i think that uh, a picture that says a thousand words this is the bef the after this is the before and i want to also report that six months now using topical cyclosporin A on the right eye has certainly improved the extent of the scarring, but we are now planning on doing the treatment of the right eye, which is uncorrected 2060, best corrected 2025. And the left eye went from best corrected 2070 to a, bet, to a uncorrected 2020. So this is a very pleasant surprise, best news for the week for us. I hope you find this um, uh, intervention interesting. And this is another aspect of where we use the topography guided and uh, CXL to not only reduce cornea scarring, and these are some of the images uh, early post-op and uh, today that do underline the CXL procedure with the lines visualized within the uh, cornea stroma. So I was saying that uh, the combination treatment is meant to normalize the cornea and reduce the chance for scarring. I'm going to close with the image of her right eye today. We can see that the right eye has certainly shown improvement of, uh, using cyclosporin for six months. We'll continue for another six months and if we don't get the optimal result there, we'll repeat what we did in her left eye. Again, the left eye here today, uh, a PTK with cross-linking in order to treat this uh, debilitating uh, EKC uh, caused significant cornea scarring. Hope you find uh, this presentation interesting. This is John Canalopoulos signing out. Thanks so much for your attention.